Welcome aboard 1W95, operating the Arriva Trains Wales service from Holyhead to Shrewsbury. You're cleared to enter Cardiff City Platform 3. These Class 175DMUs are express units, so expect an efficient run. Set the train and get going when ready. Welcome everyone to Train Simulator. Here we are, we are back. Do we have to, uh, we don't have to do anything with the loads. We're good to go, and we'll crack on. So straight away, we're on the move with our beautiful Arriva 175. We'll bring it back down. So yeah, it's been a long, long time since I've done any train simulation at all. So um, I thought we're going to start off easy and try and build our way up to some more challenging. Slow down a bit. Some more challenging uh, tasks. So got a green signal. We are slowing down to 15 miles an hour soon. So that's why I'm doing a little bit ahead of time, just so we don't get caught out. As we come into Cardiff Central Platform 2. Obviously, lovely Cardiff. So there is the Millennium Stadium. That's all you need to know about Cardiff. That is where the magic happens, where Wales play their rugby. Very spiritual and amazing place. I'm so glad it's modelled in here. So here we are, Cardiff, Platform 2, here we come. Now the beauty, the beauty thing is that the Cardiff station is literally, look, there's, there's the River Taff, where the nickname comes from. There's the Cardiff, uh, sort of Millennium Stadium. And this is Cardiff itself. So you've got the big brains factory over here somewhere. Well, I'm not sure it's still there, but it used to be a big brains, which made beer. Fantastic. Ah. Oh, and you'll notice when you're walking into the city centre, you go under the railway bridges. Emergency braking, a bit too hard there. Right, our ETA was 3.20, we arrived at 3.20, which is perfect. Uh, let's have a look at the rest. So we are picking up passengers from here and we are going to Newport Platform 4. Newport's only about 10-15 minutes down the track. Uh, so it should be quite a nice little route. I'll be keen to see how the modelling of Cardiff uh, plays out. Passenger boarding is complete. Proceed when ready to the speed limit. Departing is 15 miles an hour. Roger Wilco. So let's creep out of here. 15 miles an hour is our limit. And we'll take it nice and easy. So this is the Southwest Coastal, sorry, South Wales Coastal DLC, which came out a month or so ago. And I purchased and I've yet to really have a look at. As I said, I haven't played a train simulator game for such a long time. And it's time we did some more We've, we've neglected it far too long. It's the same with um, FSX. I'm gonna have to stop here. Oh no, I can I can squeeze through there. I thought there's <laughs> there's not room there, but no, we are gonna actually squeeze in. This is gonna be tight, but we can squeeze in. Yeah. So as we come through here, yep, there's... So, hang on, I'm just trying to get my bearings where we are. So if that's the main street, is that the British Gas place? Or is that the British Gas? So that, that building must be the back of John Lewis, is it? Or am I getting that wrong? I could be getting that wrong. It's difficult to tell. Right, so 20 miles an hour we can go up to now. Soon to be 40. As we pass that uh, speed change. There 
Go 40, we'll get to speed 2 then. Start rocking out of Cardiff. Visibility in this uh, cab isn't the best. We're not changing track, so we can stay at 40, that's fine. Continue to climb. We'll slow down the, cli uh, the speed to increase, though. 75 coming up, so we got plenty of uh, time to have a look. So let's have a look around these Arriva trains. Quite nicely modelled, aren't they? Reasonably clean and tidy. Lovely. That's what you see of Cardiff. Right, we can rock up now. 75 miles an hour. We might as well stretch her legs a little bit. See what this baby can do. See what's clickable within the cab. So as I say, yeah, we're going to bring up some more train-related videos coming up in the, in the next few weeks. We're going to do, obviously, a lot more Train Simulator 2016. As I say, I've barely... I've had this game for years and I've barely played it, um, so I want to I want to get good. I want to get good, so I'm not making all these silly mistakes. I want to learn all the intricacies of the braking systems, and especially the steam. I want to try and master the steam engines as well, because that's where my real love for trains comes in. It's the steam engines. Something very romantic about them. that's what we'll have a look at. Also there'll be some more um, London Undergrounds, New York Undergrounds and also I have World of Subways 1 and 2 which I will start to uh, have a look around. I've, I've installed them and I've had a five minute play with each of them just setting up the controls um, but they do, you can tell they are much older games, they feel very clunky and very uh, bizarre to play compared to the uh, World of Subways 3 and 4 so that should be interesting. Obviously, World of Subways 1, I think, is on New York Line as well. And World of Subways 2 is on Berlin. So that should be quite interesting. Ninety-five speed limit is going up to in a short while. Wow. Let's crank her up then. Well, we're climbing steadily, which is fine. We're out of Cardiff, into the countryside, beautiful. Ninety-five here, ooh, let's crank her up then. really start pushing her. So our ETA is 3.35 and 3 seconds into Newport. So it's a very short run indeed, but um, just the kind of confidence building start we need. Obviously we've had that slight bit of um, issues before the run actually started with the emergency braking. Braking a little bit too hard and that's really where I need to improve. Um, on train simulator is the braking. It, it, you just need it just needs practice, so you get used to where you need to brake and um, and all the things involved in it. Obviously, when it comes to World of Subways three and four, the New, the New York and the London Underground, I played them enough to know when to brake. Obviously, if you look at the early videos on that, I'm braking all over the place, getting it wrong. But you just need to get that feel, get that practice in. 
and with that practice will come mastery of the breaking arts so that should be good okay 95 coming up I don't particularly want to go up to 95 because I'm pretty sure as soon as we hit 95 we'll have to start slowing down again Although our ETA is 4.33. It's coming down. Oh, arrival was 33 actually. Okay. We need to actually, we do actually need to uh, zip along and gain some time back. She doesn't doesn't half shift, does she? She's um an impressive machine actually, this this 175 diesel. Quite an impressive bit of kit. Nice and modern as well. And I have to say, although I'm I'm from Cardiff, I've never actually travelled the trains from or to Cardiff always driven so um, I can't speak for the authenticity of the actual modeling We've got some sort of glitching tree up here it's calmed down whatever it was okay let's start slowing it down Do we need to go anymore? We're slowing down. Okay. Slow down a bit more. There's the 75. We'll continue to brake for the 60. Ease off a little bit. Coming down to 30 just before Newport. Okay, we got green. I'm just breaking a little bit harder now. So one of the joys when you go in between Newport and Cardiff on the road is through the through the um, through the mountain they've got tunnels and they are always always congested so it'll be interesting to see if um, it doesn't look like there's a tunnel between Newport and Cardiff on the tracks which is interesting Probably braked a little bit too harshly. We've slowed down a bit quicker than we probably needed to, but it's we're doing 40 again, so we'll just hold it there. Let it just slow down. Ah, here's the tunnels. <laughs> Speak of the devils. Here they are. So it's exactly the same for the uh, the cars and the trains, in, which makes sense because I'm sure the car drivers would be pretty miffed if the uh, the only bit of flat land around the uh, the mountains was used for the trains. Our lights on. Can you see where we go in? Although it's pitch black in here, as you'd expect. Okay, 
Okay, it was bleed, bleed that tiny bit of speed off down to 30. I'll hold her there. Welcome to Newport, everyone. Quite a nice little station in Newport. Never been here. If you want to see the delights of Newport, there is a there is a, a YouTube video going along. Do you remember when Alicia Keys sang about New York? Yeah, there is a a, a parody of it version about Newport and uh, how delightful it is. Right, come up now and stop. There we go. And offload. Brilliant. So we're here in Newport. I think that is part one of the objective achieved. So we've got a a coal train just look at this look at the length of that coal train that is impressive there we are hidden away under the canopy yes that coal train stretches for miles doesn't it I can't actually see the end of it well done driver that was a great run before we proceed towards Hollyhead it's let's review your performance so far okay boom um, oops, something flicked up and is gone. South Wales Coastal missed the rest. So here we go. The 175. This is like the little... Uh, the first little uh, scenario. Um, Cardiff to Hollyhead. Obviously, we only went to Newport. South Wales Coastal score 857. That's okay. That's okay. It's not the best. Obviously, it's out of 1,000. So it's okay. It's a good pass. Put it that way. Uh, achievements unlock South Wales Coastal 1W95 scorer. Okie koki. So we had the emergency brake thing minus 3 right at the beginning. We got 500 for timeliness into Cardiff and 360 for time, timeliness, timeliness into Newport. That was very difficult to say. Um, so there we go. That's our just our first little step back into the world of train simulator 16 there's going to be a lot more and we'll try and increase the complexity of the scenarios and we'll, we'll mix it up a little bit more in the future i just need to start slowly and build my confidence up and build my skill set up so we can uh, so you're not sitting there with your he your head in your hands going oh what is he doing with these poor locomotives he's destroying them um, so yeah, we're going to take it nice and steady. It'll be frustrating for those who play this a lot and are experts, um, but bear with me. We will get there. It's all about, you know, it's all about the progression. It's all about improving, learning as we go, and enjoying what we're doing. We don't have to be the best at it. We just need to enjoy what we're doing uh, and take some pleasure out of Train Sim 16. So I'll leave it there, guys. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this. As I say, more to come. This was just a first step back into uh, the world of trains, uh, and I'll see you next time on the lines. I'll see you then.